this. But one of the things that I noticed on this that I had forgotten about was that it is in fact Whirlpool, which means that on any natural 20, it's bypassing um, all fortification. Uh, excuse me, it is, uh, excuse me, uh, bypassing fortification is um, keen. This is uh, Whirlpool, which means that it is bypass um, on any 20, it is gonna kill anything under a thousand hit points, which is very handy. So I am gonna go ahead and do that. For the record, I'm still not 100%, but uh, certainly better than I was when I had the stabbing gut pains yesterday. So we're gonna go ahead and call that a win. So we're gonna go over here, talk to uh, Morian Haldorak. Salika, I assume, so you're the one everybody's talking about. There must be something to you for an old dwarf like myself knows your name. I've heard about your runnings with the Vaunt. Seems you have some doubts about the fellow now. I haven't gotten to be as old as I am by rushing to judgment. Measure twice, cut once is my motto. I would be that, uh, excuse me, it could be that this Vaunt person is perfectly fine. I can't see I have conclusive proof one way or the other. Vaunt's dirty, give me a chance and I'll prove it. That's just it. I, and people like me, you understand, wouldn't be able to step in right here if there were any chance at all that Vaunt might disgrace the name of our city. We must be very careful about who we allow into a position of prominence, I'm sure you agree. That's why I want you to keep investigating Vaunt. In fact, I have some leads for you. What's next? I know that the Pelf has expressed grave doubts about Mr. Vaunt, not surprising since he might well put wizards out of business. Anyway, a wizard from the Twelve is supposed to make a, a major announcement about Vaunt's device very soon now. I suppose you can begin your investigation there. Speak with uh, Selwyn Ulith. She can tell you more. I'll find out what this announcement is about. Okay. Sure, how we're supposed to pronounce it. Now, shall we? Ooh, Salka, is it? Uh, you did some work for a colleague of mine, recovered one of Vaughn's prototypes. We've been examining that device in detail, trying to figure out how it works. Another colleague of mine, Glastic Bonwit, has discovered some very disturbing things. He's about to make an announcement about what we found a very public announcement to the newspapers at Belgrave's Emporium. You, sh you should attend, I'm sure it will put his mind at ease. I will go and find Glastic. Take lift to the Belgrade's Aquarium and take a look for a gnome in 12 robes. If you can't find Glastic, try to locate the reporter for the Shrine Inquisitive and ask him about his informant. Please hurry, it's vital that we get this story to the public. Alright, so we're off to Lucy's. An imposing figure motions for you to stop. Please turn back. Von Darkano Technic is dealing with a security problem inside this store. For your own safety, leave immediately or face the consequences. The entrance is blocked by a magic field projected by a modified version of Vaunt's arcane assistant. Open a door to the Sky Coach, Doc Zolkis. They'll capture that fractious wizard any moment now. We'll be departing shortly. Okay, so hold on, let's try this again from the beginning. It's an outrage upon the people out of control. They burst in here, weapons in hand, claiming there's some sort of uh, menace loose in the store. I don't care what we were supposed to have done. They're fighting to wear customers. This reporter fellow says they are up to no good. I don't know anything about that, but I do know want one of them for you immediately. Wizard, you mean last of all it? I was supposed to meet him here. That's the fellow showed up ranting about how Vaunt was going to kill thousands of people. Said he had a notebook full of evidence to prove it to you. Then Vaunt's people showed up. They claimed this wizard was a threat. They weren't clear about why and tried to arrest him as if they were a watch or something. The gnome fellow wouldn't have it. Tore a bunch of uh, pegs out of his notebook and uh, pages out of his notebook and threw them about, shouting that he wouldn't be s silenced. Then he ran. Uh, then he ran off at full speed. I imagine Vaunt's people have caught him by now, though. Don't know what he was about or why Vaunt wants him, but I do know I want that those Vaunt brutes out of this store. I'll find Glastig and see what I can do to getting rid of Vaunt's security people. 
The manager says that once security detail has kidnapped the informant you were supposed to meet, they're probably gotcha. holding him somewhere inside the store. good so far. Famous last words. Cue the immediate and ignominious death. Ignominious. Mm -hmm. Another thing that the Nightshade Shooter also does is, as you can see, it has Nightshade Venom, and the Nightshade Venom puts people to sleep. <laughs> Back into the action. Archmage tree. So I call it the Archmage tree. And that is a problem because while that ability is pretty meh for a player, it will absolutely ruin you when mobs use it on you. Because it is. The mobs have a disproportionate amount of hit points to players. So it doesn't do enough damage to be effective against mobs, but it does do a lot of damage. And of course, naturally, this force damage which doesn't get resistant to much. It cannot be resisted by the shield spell. And they also seem to fire very quickly. So just because we're on the street, we're not going to shoot some of the. is we'll head down to the bottom. I will give myself a quilt. Oh, that, that's a stone ball. That, that's probably not great. One of these little boxes are in fact So these are these guys up. Pick up the remnant. And we go over 
here. Eight. This chest doesn't have any fun in it, but it does have a possibility to have shrine crafting materials in it. So that's worth it. It's the, oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. I'm just, uh, go ahead and, uh, fix myself right now. Here's I also worked my order here. There we go. Again, I'm going to try to figure out who murdered the hireling. We just decided that she was going to stand, hang out here, and die. So as you see, we're back all the way around at the other side. I do have the poison ball spell now. about those constructs because they spam chain lightning and that can get to be a very bad time very quickly. Just another note. So as you can imagine looking at this clearly we're going to get jumped. So what we want to do is do this. It's not too bad you get them all bunched up in one area and you can make short work of them. As you can see, the uh, I always thought this was kind of cute. Mushrooms on a tray. Um, but yeah, you get them all bunched up. You can improve the precise shot. We'll make a mess out of them in a hurry. So keep walking. Shoot this guy. Actually, uh, I'm using this Heart Stopper, which is lowering their fortitude saves, which I believe. Let me just have a look at this. Yeah, it's a fortitude save. So the. the, the um, the nightshade poison is a fortitude save, so every time I shoot these guys, they are having their fortitude saves reduced, which increases the possibility of me putting them to sleep. Of course, the uh, reapers are naturally immune to paralysis and sleep. And they will just immune to everything. It's just safer to assume. The only thing that reapers are actually not immune to is elemental damage of any kind, which is the only tip of the hat they kind of gave you. But they, they can be uh, herb held as well. So at least there's that. Um, and what and they can be charmed as well. So one of the things that's um, used to be a, a, a standard strategy was to actually charm the reapers while you were playing in reaper mode because a charmed reaper will absolutely go and wreck the other mobs because they also have the reaper to damage the area of that. 
uh, so they can very quickly as a plague or a, a carnage reaper will absolutely destroy these. much easier with the improved precise shot. Now a lot of people will actually try to tell you that um, improved precise shot you can get at level 14. That is in fact false. Um, you cannot get it at level 14 for the simple fact of the matter that your base attack bonus won't allow it. You won't have enough, I, I believe it requires 11 base attack bonus, but um, if you're on the for the base attack bonus class, Alchemist, you're never going to get that until level 18. So, I'm not sure how they figured that out though. That's the, the long and short is that they figured out the long Because it also requires that you have precise shot, which also has his attack as Now, a ranger gets all of that at level 11. But a ranger is a full base attack bonus class. That makes their and they also get those feats for free. So irritating. So so irritating. the idea of the reaction spikes the only problem is is that it's a lot of micromanagement so that's not ideal i don't particularly care for a lot of people like the reactive blue style where they flash and pop weapons all the time i am not one of those people so as you can see when you start doing this they all start getting zigzags Over under on a lot of these weapons is extremely minor. Like as you can see, the difference I, of switching switching from one uh, optimal weapon to another optimal weapon is, you know, very minor. But not much of a difference in the overall DPS output. But at the same time, you know, you always want to be kind of ideally using your best weapon if at all possible. Whoopsie, whoopsie A small figure cowers in a corner, menaced by Vaughn's security force. The gnome fits the description of the informant you were sent to find. Thank Orion, you've come along. Vaughn sent those brutes to silence me. He doesn't want people to find out that his so-called arcane assistant actually does. I discovered that Vaughn's spell custom gadget is powered by the life energy of the people who use it. 
Use it once or twice and you'd never notice anything wrong, but use it all the time and it will send you to an early grave. My notebook contains detailed proof showing you exactly how Bond's device sucks the life out of people, but those scoundrels stole it from me. They said something about taking it to the Sky Coach dock. Maybe you'd be able to catch them there. I'll find the Sky Coach dock and try to get your notebook back. something daily that sucks the life out of you is what most people call a job. So. Now this, this chapter is where bad things happen. So I'm going to park my higher uh, line here. Go to very lucky. First off, I'm gonna move these around because I never want, I never want my precision to be off, but I absolutely want to be able to swap back and forth. Six hundred and sixty six hit points. Nice. Marines up in the chat. So now that's done. And you'll see over here we have yet again more of these douchebags. Oh look at that. I can I can pick them up and hey, today I learned chat. So now we're just gonna do that one at a time. We're just gonna We're just gonna cheese these guys right out. That solves a lot of problems. Okay. A small card by the door. You unlock the door using the key. And damage improves learning. All right. So we did the basic puzzle here. We got to get the power from over here to over here. It was pretty straightforward. Let's see if I how close I get. Oh, I got to get right up to it. Swing music in here as well is pretty damn nice. Gotta turn down a little bit. So I will call out the over here. Again, this is another one where this uh, in play can go horribly sideways very quickly. So what your sing is manicure. All of these things. The Radiant Idol calls out to you as he climbs aboard the waiting sky coach. This isn't the jungle, Outlander. You can't just blunder around breaking things. The people who matter in this city won't tolerate riots in their shops or attacks on important citizens. Alright, so what's gonna happen? I killed the Manticore by accident. So you can see with her, she's a red name, which means that the Constitution damage doesn't do anything. It's reducing her saves, but it's not actually doing anything about it. You see the red shield flash above her head. That means that
Battle one, you search the Skycoach dock and immediately spot the notebook you've been looking for. Surely it contains evidence that will incriminate Matt. Is that a... not terrible? Oop, next to them. Does not take too bad. Um, are still battle mage. Not a lot of, honestly, not a lot of use for that. It's uh, basically for artificer or artificer. How is I? How you like to pronounce it? It's uh, most people do.